So if you're planning to go to the UK and you don't hold one of these, which is a British passport, then there are some new entry rules you need to know about so you're not turned away as soon as you step out of the aeroplane. In 2024, the UK introduced the ETA process, which stands for Electronic Travel Authorization. This means that if you're coming from countries which didn't need a visa in the past, you will need to get authorized before you even get on your trip or your plane, or you're gonna get rejected when you're trying to enter. This authorization is gonna cover the purpose of going to the UK for up to six months as a tourist, if you're visiting family, friends, or if it's a business trip or some short-term study. This also covers those who are transiting through the UK without exiting on the border control in the airport. So there's going to be three main waves which are going to take place as they roll out this new process which affects different countries. Nationalities of these six countries which are part of the Persian Gulf states are already using the ETA process right now. So this is a sign that this is really happening. And then from the end of November 2024, applications are going to be open for non-European countries with nationalities which currently don't need visas to enter the UK. This includes the US, Canada, South American nationals, and then there's also a lot of Asia Pacific countries. So if you're from these countries and you want to go to the UK in January 2025, then you need to make sure that you have the ETA approval in place. Finally, you're going to have the third wave, and these are the European countries, including the one which you currently live in, which is the Czech Republic. So for these European countries, they need to apply for the ETA for March 2025, and they'll need to have this authorization in place for when they visit in April 2025. There's always a chance that these dates may change, so it's important to keep an eye out on the UK government website in case there's some changes. So there's gonna be two ways you can do the ETA application when you're ready. So the first one is the mobile application which you can download on both iPhone and Android. And it's very easy once you download it, there is step-by-step -step instructions which you can follow. The cost for an application is right now at 10 pounds or around 12 euros. So once you're approved, you'll be granted to enter the UK for a period of two years with as much entries as you want without submitting fresh applications. The second way is through the gov.uk website, also very straightforward if you search for ETA Gov UK on Google. There are some important things which you need to know. So the first one is the authorization process. It's going to take three whole days. I think there's going to be some automation behind it so it can be quicker. So what this means for you is that you shouldn't book any last minute trips to just turn up into the UK. It would be a big shame to make that journey and then you pay that money and you get turned away right on the border control. That would suck. Anyway, once your ETA is approved, it's gonna be linked to your passport and you're gonna receive an email. If you do decide to change passport for some reason, you're gonna need to get a fresh authorization. Over time, you're gonna see on Google potential websites which are offering to take care of this process for you for an extra cost. I'll propose that you avoid this because most likely it's going to cost a lot of money. Maybe you also meet some scammers if you go this route. So it's very important to use the official UK government website and the application. It's a very straightforward process. Finally, once you're at the UK border control, you will still need to go through the border security and they may ask you what is the reason for your visit, if you have enough funds for your accommodation, flights out, etc. So make sure you've prepared everything for your trip because there's a chance they may turn you away. They're also going to be introducing a similar process for those who want to travel to Europe. The dates for now, they're not yet confirmed. Right now it's being speculated for 2025. So make sure you subscribe and follow our channel because we're going to share the details once that process is starting. <laughs>